Hello viewer. So what I wanted to do is get Laravel working with uh, MongoDB. So out of the box, Laravel, which is built on PHP, doesn't have a MongoDB driver installed. And it's, it's using MySQL out of the box. But let's try and get it working with MongoDB. So if we go to uh, this uh, GitHub page for the Laravel MongoDB package. Uh, it's a plugin for Laravel because by nature it can't use the MongoDB database. So I'm going to uh, read the instructions. First, we have to, first, PHP itself cannot talk to MongoDB by default, it needs a driver installed. So let's go to the actual PHP website and I'm on Windows 10. So I'm gonna to go to the Windows download and let's see, it says pre-compiled binaries, which are basically DLLs are gonna be available here. Uh, I'm gonna get the latest one, 1.18. And let's see, gonna download something to get the DLLs. Okay, on this screen, you're gonna click the DLL link, which is going to take you to the page to choose what version of the DLL you want. So most likely you have PHP 5.6 going. Uh, if you have seven, use that. I'll use 5.6 and then there's two versions for x86 and x64, non-thread safe, thread safe. Well, thread safe is better. I'm not sure of the complications that might cause by using it. So let's, uh, let's try non-thread safe for now just to keep it easy. So we're gonna download that and it's gonna bring down a zip file. And inside we can see there is the DLL directly in there. So we'll go back to the instructions and we'll say, okay, now what do we do with the DLL? <clears throat> uh, Pre-compiled binaries, add the following, extract the archive and put the Mongo DLL in your PHP extension directory. Okay, so now what that means is we need to find where your PHP installation is. So mine is using a WAMP build. Uh, so it's a Bitnami WAMP build, but you probably have something else. All you have to do is find the main PHP installation directory. And in there is going to be a folder called ext. And that's where you can just copy and paste the DLL into there. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, uh, now after that, it says add the following line to your PHP INI file. Okay, so if we go back up to the PHP root directory, there is just a PHP INI file. I'm gonna just open it with Notepad to be quick and simple and Add the following line. So let's see, where is an area? It's probably a huge file. Okay, so scrolling all the way down to the file, uh, you can see where the extensions are inserted into this file. And uh, you just paste that in there at the bottom and it references the MongoDB DLL for you to use. Okay, so let's go back to backup. We've done, make sure you have the PHP MongoDB driver installed. So that is done. And now we are going to actually install the Laravel part of it so that 
it can use that driver. So before you do this, we can see it's installing, it says install installation using Composer. Well, Composer is another tool. It's used to download uh, packages for um, Laravel. So you may not have that installed. I don't think I do. So you're going to have to get that from the composer, getcomposer.org website uh, and follow these instructions if you don't have it installed. Otherwise, uh, you can ignore this part. So I'm going to download that and install it. And let's fast forward. Okay, so I installed Composer. It's just a normal window installation. Nothing special happened. Now that I, I open the command line, I can type in Composer and see that it is installed. So let's continue on. And so we're going to have to go to the uh, root of your uh, Laravel installation. It's probably different for everyone. So this is where my installation is. And we'll just follow the instructions again. That says composer require gen siggers mongo db. And probably similar to npm install and that package system, it's just going to go to the internet and download everything that it needs and do whatever it does. Okay, so I missed something. Uh, the extensions, they are the semicolon is a comment. So we need to uncomment the extension specification. I forgot to do that. So let's save that because when I installed the Laravel MongoDB, it said installation failed. Well, then I realized I didn't actually put the extension there because it was commented out. So let's try this again. And one more problem. Don't comment out or don't uncomment the MongoD DLL. So that is the MongoD is the DLL for the actual server, which we don't need. We need the client, which is just mongo.dll. So don't uh, just leave this one here. So if we go to php dash dash ini, that tells you that everything's okay. And then if we go back to the composer installation, now it should be able to install everything properly. Okay, I found one more issue. Uh, something with the versions of MongoDB was not working with the package. I'm not sure what the issue was, but here is this GitHub issue. And it says um, what to do is add the ignore platform requirements flag after the composer command. So now that I've done that, it looks like it is working. Yes. Foundation looks like everything was installed. Hopefully. So let's go back to the instructions and it says add the service provider in config slash app PHP. Okay, so let me copy this and go to the configs. I'm in the root of my Laravel application, uh, wherever yours is. Um, just open that up in your editor. I'm using VS Code. And in the providers, let's see, providers. Let's just paste that in there. Um, looks like that should work. Okay. So 
I'm just going to look at the simple app that I have up now. I'm going to go restart the server, whether you have yours running the command line or through a GUI interface, uh, re just restart it. And I just have one table that is just showing a bunch of words. And if I refresh the page after install that provider, everything's still working. Uh, if I go to a create URL, type in whatever, this saves that, and then goes back to the listing page to show it. So that's my simple app, not doing anything really, just trying to get MongoDB to work. So let's go to our next step. So the next step is to go to your database configurations in the config folder, your database.php, and by default you have your connection set to MySQL, but we want to change that to MongoDB. So in your connection settings, let's add the MongoDB entry, uh, drivers MongoDB, localhost, the port, this is default, whatever database name you want, and username and password. So what we're going to do is take the key of MongoDB and replace it up here with MySQL and save that and then restart your server um, however way that you want to do that now uh, we'll go back to the app Let's see if it breaks class mongod driver manager not found let's see what that's all about okay so there is another issue so going back to the mongodb driver uh, installation on this page, I installed the X64, which is a 64-bit version of the DLL, but uh, that's not going to work for PHP. So I had to download the ThreadSafe X86 version, which is the 32-bit version. So this one right here, this is the one you're going to want to download. So download that zip, open it up, then go back to your php ext um, folder copy that over then go to your command line and do a php dash dash ini and there should be no issues okay so that's the only thing i fixed uh, so if we go back to the application where we were encountering MongoDB driver manager not found. Actually, that's a lie. That's not all I fix. So uh, if we go back to the PHP directory and we open up the INI file, uh, this gets a little confusing because there's two versions. So there's PHP Mongo and there's PHP MongoDB. There are two, those are two different versions. The newest one is this one. So back here at the package manager package page, the uh, new versions, which are like these ones, if you when you download those, that's going to be the uh, MongoDB version, not just the Mongo. DLL with no DB this part. So keep this commented out and leave this one in here. Okay, I'm going to reset my uh, Apache server. Again, do this however way you can. Now, uh, nothing, haven't changed anything else. We still have the uh, MongoDB connection and we still have the app with the provider class here. Uh, so let's refresh, see if anything else happens. Okay, another problem. Call to a member function compile select on null. Let's see what that means. Okay, so the thing that was causing an issue is you now need to use the MongoDB model instead of the built-in Illuminate model or Eloquent model from the default uh, 
Laravel installation. That's MySQL base. So before, uh, over here in app under under app, I had my meal model, and that was just using the base model class that's built in tied to MySQL. But you need to get rid of that, and you need to use the one that you installed for MongoDB, and that is the Jessinger MongoDB Eloquent model as Eloquent. You create your class that extends from that. Uh, save that, and then let's see. Let's look over in HTTP controller or controllers uh, meal controller. I'm still using the same syntax that was there from the built-in default MySQL model. Um, in order to query, to, um, to save, and to find, so here I'm getting all meals, here I'm showing one, and here I'm saving one, that all should be exactly the same. So if I go back to my app and I refresh, <clears throat> well, it appears to be working because it's not airing out, but I don't have any meals anymore because I'm using a new database. But if I do this, now I can see it is now attached to the new Mongo database and it is working. It saved the information and then it's retrieving it and showing it. Uh, if I go to my Mongo compass, which is the graphical interface for looking at your Mongo database, I can see uh, what I can actually see the information as it, as it exists in the database. So let's connect to it and see what it shows us. Okay, so let's see. For that, I for the meals, my meals application, uh, I just created a test database. Um, you can see the schema that exists for uh, the document, and here's one instance of the data. So if I do another. Create, I say, meal2 from Mongo. And then I refresh it. Um, hmm, not sure why it's not showing that new information, but we know it's in there. But uh, anyways, that is the uh, explanation of how we can get MongoDB set up for Laravel. Uh, thanks for watching.